that that's what we are as brewers. We're just yeast farmers. We're creating a, a hospitable environment for this little fungus to do its thing. We just have to make them comfortable. I'm John Denny. I'm the head brewer and one of the founders of First Magnitude Brewing Company in Gainesville, Florida. Compared to many other Florida breweries, we are quite small. We're so proud of our Vega Blonde Ale that just won the Silver Award at the World Beer Cup. And then Drift was awarded a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival. And we've, we've set a pretty high bar here. Now we've got to keep doing it. The challenge of these butterfly beers has been absolutely fascinating. To get these really novel ideas, work with the scientists at the Florida Museum, and then try to craft a good beer. Working with First Magnitude Brewing as a local company, it was, it was really a natural fit. We are both sort of in the same business. Uh, my name is Jarrett Daniels. I'm the director of the McGuire Center for Lepidopter and Biodiversity at the Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville. Who knew you could have a career studying insects? I just feel like I owe them a debt of gratitude, I have to give something back. I mean, if I wasn't in this career, I wouldn't have met my wife. But I'm luckily in a position where I can make a difference. My lab focuses on a bunch of different research, and a lot, a lot of what we do is, is breeding endangered species. Meticulous work feeding thousands of hungry little mouths of caterpillars. We work on obscure organisms which nobody knows the name of. We need other resources to get the word out about those organisms and to raise money for that work. The Florida Museum is the largest global center for lepidopter research in, in the world. It's just a research institution that has an outward face for the public to understand why the natural world around us matters. Looking at beer as a way of reaching beyond our walls in, in new and innovative ways. Getting people together, getting people talking, getting people interested, and bringing money into the system to actually protecting these species and making sure that they're around for generations to come. We are really trying to do the full round of imperil butterflies in Florida and pick the beer that most embodied that organism, come up with a cool name to really sell it, and ultimately just raise awareness about the butterflies. We started out with Shouse Stout, which was named after Shouse's Swallowtail, the only federally endangered swallowtail butterfly in North America. It was an American stout with Cascade hops. We did it on a pilot batch, maybe 45 gallon. Sold out of it the first night. We're like, wow, you know, this, this, might, this might be a thing here. <laughs> that was the one that, that opened our eyes and, and really got us excited about working with the museum. After that, we did Miami Blue Bach. Miami Blue Bach is named after the Miami Blue Butterfly. It's one of the most endangered butterflies in North America. And now it's only found in a few remote islands to the west of Key West. Then we did two monarch beers. It's one called Migration Marzen, which was an Oktoberfest. Around the same time, monarchs are migrating to southern Florida and Mexico. And then we also launched Monarch Milk Stout. Monarchs like to feed on milkweed. Uh, turned out really well for us, and once again, opened a door. We poured that at the Flower and Garden Festival at Disney. We did Bartram's Blonde, named for the Bartram Scrub Hair Streak. It's just critically imperiled, and this butterfly can act as kind of an icon to raise awareness for Pine Rockland habitat in South Florida. It's the next batch of beer. This is the Atala butterfly, but so this will be the sixth. It has a really unique conservation story behind it. It was, it was thought to be extinct in Florida in the 70s, and then a, a little isolated population was saved by conservationists, and then made a, a big comeback. It's one of the few butterflies that actually did survive teetering on the brink of extinction, and these other species can do the same thing. 
This one is really striking with the coloration. We're going to be doing a uh, tropical pale ale because it's native to the Bahamas and Florida and the butterfly has the iridescent blue and a little bit of red. So we're going to do a little accent fruits with blueberry and pomegranate. combined with real subtle the fruit character lend itself to a very interesting beer. It will come out to be kind of a rich pink, a little bit more approachable and accessible for people. It's a blend of art and science. And to be honest, we've never done it before. <laughs> so that's kind of the cool thing. I want people to know that the Atala is from Florida a great way of introducing people into a world of, of species that really need your help. Our tagline is good things spring from here and we really we really stand by it. In the big picture you know we are we are quite small but we want to have uh, an impact. I think the dream is to have generate enough revenue where it really makes an impact. A line of butterfly beers around the nation that could garner a lot more resources for conservation bringing money into the system, you can restore a habitat, you protect a species, you employ somebody that can do research. You get enough businesses doing that sort of thing, then, well, you start to make some changes for the better. <laughs>